everybody, it's Chuck Burr. I'm a Nebraska Extension educator, uh, focusing on irrigated cropping systems in West Central Nebraska. Today I'm at the West Central Research Extension and Education Center in North Platte. Looking behind me is a, one of our UNL TAPS fields. Uh, I'm gonna head inside and show you a few slides, give you an update on our TAPS program and what it's all about. See you in a minute. So TAPS stands for Testing Ag Performance Solutions. There's a lot of technology available in agriculture today. TAPS helps to evaluate that and also helps drive adoption of technology to increase profitability and efficiency in agriculture. So one of the strengths of the TAPS program would be competition. You really don't know how good your management strategies are until you compete against somebody else on a level playing field. Peer-to-peer uh, -peer, the engagement has been very good for us. Farmers willing to talk to other farmers about what works for them and what doesn't work for them. Uh, experiential learning as well. You get to experiment with new technology and see if that technology has a place in your operation. So this is a slide showing the different participants from 2019. You see we have a pretty good coverage from the southern half of Nebraska, uh, several participants down in Kansas and Colorado. Uh, in addition, we have an OSU TAPS competition in Oklahoma. We'd like to thank our 2019 sponsors and partners, it really helps drive our TAPS program. This list continues to grow in 2020 as well. We did give out three awards. The most profitable farm gets a check for $2,000. The highest input use efficiency farm gets a check for 1,000. And we did give a check for a base of $500 for the greatest grain yield. As an overview of our competition, participants are making several management decisions. They select a hybrid and a seeding rate, a nitrogen amount and application method, and irrigation amount and timing. All these agronomic decisions are imposed onto replicated plots in one field here at the Research Center in North Platte. If you'd like to find out more about TAPS, check us out on Twitter. Uh, you can follow us on our website and subscribe to our digital newsletter. This has been Chuck Burr with another in-field observation.